welcome to my Jamong tutorial. Yes. Alright. First, we're going to go over his abilities. Really quickly. Really quickly. First, we have the left mouse click. It is an auto attack. But it also doubles as a seeking shot. Bong bong. If you hold shift and click, it's the seeking shot. Left mouse click, in a nutshell. Next up, we have our right mouse click. Simple charge shot. No big deal, right? No big deal. But it also doubles as... Another type of seeking arrow. It hits the same target three times. Or, if the targets are close enough, it'll hit multiple targets. Schwang. Pretty nifty, pretty nifty. Next up, we have our space, which is our escape and damage, so to speak. This is what it looks like. Quick dash, quick dash, quick dash, quick dash. Pretty cool, pretty cool. The next ability on our list is our Q, Rain of Arrows. Raining arrows, as you can see. Pretty cool. Just raining arrows. Then we have our bear trap. Bear traps. Cool, cool. I have battle rights on. That's why they look extra. But they're just bear traps. And then we have our R, which is prowl. We turn invisible. And we move faster. Uh, and if we use our prowl and go through opponents, we create a seeker's mark. Bang, bang, bang. Very cool, very cool, very cool. What the Seeker's Mark does is, if you have Seeker's Mark on a target and you auto-attack them, you get health back. Next up is our ultimate, which is, in my case, a left shift. In your case, F. Here it is. Bang, bang. It hit two targets. I don't know why I didn't reach the third one. And in our ultimate, we can also charge it. Charge. 60 damage a whopping 60 damage which will auto kill these things that lag is sexy and last but not least we have our passive which allows us to use pretty much any ability twice except for R and our ultimate so as you can see my bow is red which means my passive is active so I can use double rain arrows bang bang to activate the passive, all we have to do is get off three auto attacks. Bow is red. I can do two things. See? Double ability. Then it goes on cooldown. Which, it also works with that. Just to demonstrate, I'll do it again. Schwang, schwang. Double escape. Alright. Now, we're going to move into the battle right section. Let's do it. If you look to my right... I don't know what it is for you, but it's my right. You'll see our battle rights. All right, we have our steady shot, black arrow, rain of arrows, bear trap, prowl, dragon slayer, perks, extra perks. This is for auto and an extra movement speed. I'm not gonna go through each perk, but I'm going to show you what I would use for my damage setup and then what I would use for my speed setup. Because those are the only two I use. All right, for my damage, I always take perfect shot which makes your left, no, right click stun for a brief moment. And I take power shot, which adds some damage and knockback to it. For a second one, I take neither of these, none of these. For my rain of arrows, I take both. Adds a little additional snare to it and increases the damage and range of it. Very good, very good. And then the last perk I take is trapper, which makes you have two bear traps. And I'll show you how all of those look now. So trapper will look like that. Double trap. Without double trap on, it will be a single trap. My Q, rain of arrows, little extra damage, seeker's mark everywhere. And my shot, it will knock back a little and add a little stun on there. Now, what makes this really good is when you combine it with your passive. My rain of arrows now looks like this lots of damage and snare double snare and you can also combine it with 
Your other shot here. Bam. Bam. As far as the speed setup goes, what we will do is a little differently. We're going to start with Black Arrow here. What we want to do is get this Fading Haste. The one that gives you Fading Haste. It's really good, really good. Then we're going to go down and we're still going to get Crippling Hail. We're not going to get the extended one now. We just want that extra cripple for escaping. We're going to also get Trapper again. Because that's really good. We're going to get Prowl this time. Because why not? Why not? It reduces the cooldown by 3 seconds. And increases the duration by 0.5 seconds. Allowing you to escape effectively. And then our last perk is going to be Agility. For that extra 10% movement speed. This is when you have that team that can just stick to you. Oof. Those, those suck. So, I'll show you what this looks like. It moves a little faster. A little faster. Yep, yep, yep. And we have our little fade and haste to help us get away. We still have our snare on that. And we have our R. It lasts a little longer. And it comes back a little faster. It feels faster in the game because you won't be like using it back to back. And you'll be using it in combination with your black arrow which is now a lot better with your passive so let's say somebody jumped on me just now i would ghost out they're still on me i got a double dash with haste on it to get out and they're still on me bear trap keep moving still on you arrow under you keep moving and then your thing is back up <laughs> so that's pretty much your escape and this is already back up because of that minus three seconds so you just kind of keep that order going and keep moving around the map okay that is it for the battle rights that i use let's move on to the next section and we're attacking an opponent some combinations that i like to use are well let's say you have a tank and they're locking down this section here what you want to do is immediately drill some traps and rain. Traps and rain in com combination are really good. Traps and a double rain. They might You might not want to stack them on top of each other. You might want to. But it's really good because they get stuck in place. And even if they try to dash out, they're still going to be stuck wherever they dash. And the snare is going to be hitting them. Everybody's around you. This is perfectly the best combo right here. Tons of damage there is someone around you you want to do a similar combo so you throw that out throw that out get an auto and sweep out if somebody is next to you and you're just trying to get that damage off really quick so someone dove onto you you got that little dodge off you want to put traps right in front of you throw your hail out again back arrow into this you might want to start with the hail back out and then traps in front of you these are just pretty nice escape tools right there. Now, if you're just getting wailed on and you can't throw out anything because you're getting stunned, obviously just R out. R out traps in front of you wherever you stop. So as you can see, you're always going to want to save those traps to be in front of you. Because if you don't and you get caught, you are in some trouble. Because you don't have very many escapes. And if you use them unwisely, it's over for you. Another good technique for a charging arrow. Charge into that. You might want to do a little faster though. Always kind of want to combine the two, attacking and escaping. Unless they're just not on you at all, then you just want to kind of, you know, attack, obviously. Now, one more tip. If your tank does have them completely just locked down, I wouldn't recommend wasting your traps unless they have no one that can just hop on you immediately just use rain and you know pop some autos rain definitely pop these onto the next section okay now we're going to talk about positioning all right so a good positioning would be about always this far from your target this is far enough for an auto to hit all the time it's about this far any closer you're too close and as, as I said if they are to jump on you and you get in within this range this is trap range it's always trap range 
and if you don't have traps you arrow yourself and move back because that extra snare that you put on the enough arrows will always help you get out of the range so they're this close rain on yourself and get out of there and attack while you're moving unless they are fast if they're faster you want to use a normal attack so and keep getting out okay so as far as positioning that's pretty much it you just want to keep this this range here it's a beautiful range all right now let's jump into some gameplay we're going to be using the power set as you can see here swing 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 it's ready up and we have ourselves a nice little tank damager what are we against ranger in a tank looks like so we're getting dove on As you can see, this is what it looks like when you get dove. Let's get this health. The death vortex is incoming. Your team claimed the orb. That's how you handle being dove, my guys. Shwang. Round one. Good weather for a win. Alright, round two this thing. Probably gonna get dove on again, depending on how she took that first time. Just gonna chill back for that exchange. Ah, he knocked him out. Get out of there. I missed that. Got her. She's on me. Traps out. Bang. Got her there. And finished her off. The death vortex is incoming. So this is pretty much how you want to keep distance and handle dive or handle getting dove on consistently she didn't dive as much as the first time but it's all good all good takes a little practice though this is my first game of the day so i make some mistakes hey girl get to moving get to moving My priority, for the most part, is the ranger back there. But, oh, don't want to hit her with the counter on. Let's get out of there. Your team claimed the orb. Our ultimate, get our bear traps out. Oh, she got out of it. Oh, good. Double arrow. Finish her off. I am lightning. She went invisible. There she is. Alright, let's see if we can get her down. Here goes nothing. Death 
Ooh, baby. Bang, bang. <laughs> and that is some gameplay with Jamong. I hope you guys enjoyed and you learned a little bit. Let me know in the comments and I'll probably do some similar things like this for other people. Maybe. No promises. But anyway, like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next time. Peace.